the second last video of our Northeast Namibia series. We we're going from Katima Malilu in Namibia to Kasane in Botswana crossing the Ngoma border post. This is what I'm showing in this video, how to cross the Ngoma border post. We're just about entering Katima Malilu and you'll see it's raining. I'm not sure how the GoPro on the roof is coping, hopefully it does. You'll see there's a shell on the left, or there's an engine garage on the right. There's a ShopRite supermarket on the left. And if you go right here, there's so many more shops. I think there's a ShopRite, there's a pick and pay. There's a little mall right here. Um, we also have MTC, you've got all the banks you want. Basically in this little uh, border town, you'll find everything you need. So if you're coming in from either Zambia or Botswana, first stop, no problems. Shouldn't have any issues, tires, spares, I said that already. There's a small little camping store coming up in the front as well. Shouldn't have any issues with uh, anything you need. Only issue, and that's I think is relevant to most little border, uh, border towns is that it can get extremely busy at times like proper busy especially on saturday mornings and uh end of end of the month we're now at the end of town end of town end of this road um t junction and if you go left you will go to zambia the zambian border is only about five kilometers away and if you go right 70 kilometers about 70 kilometers to the ngoma border that takes you to botswana and from here there's not a lot more in town that of interest honestly to travelers but what i am going to tell you is the first thing that's pretty cool about this road it gives you an alternative means of getting to uh, victoria falls or specifically livingston on the zambian side logic tells you if you look at the map you turn left there you cross the zambian border and you go directly to livingston this is not the case I'm not going to tell you what to do, I'm simply going to advise you. Go and Google Sesheke Road, Zambia, Worst Road, Second Worst Road, and see the results, read for yourself, look at the videos, look at the comments, and decide for yourself. The better option is to use this road. Obviously another... You see, if you see a big building, random, brand new building, it doesn't make sense. It's obviously got to be a government building. <laughs> But yeah, the, the better option is to take this route, you go into Botswana, you go to Kazangula, you use the Kazangula bridge to go into um, Zambia, and then you go to Livingston. That's the better option. I'm not telling you what to do, I'm simply advising. And to Zambians getting angry because I'm saying your roads are bad, I have no, no ill uh, feelings towards your country. I have a travel channel, I need to tell people what to expect. I don't tell them not to go to Zambia, I simply tell them what to expect so that they can prepare themselves. I've received so many negative comments from Zambians. Um, I guess it is what it is. And from here on this road, there's not a lot. I mean, you'll exit town, town is probably another three, four kilometers. Then you'll see the lodges, all the various lodges on your left, because the river, the river is on the left. You'll see the big turn off for the Gondwana Mubala camp and uh, lodge. Then you'll go pass through about 20-25 kilometers. You'll pass through the small village of Bukalu, which also has a shell garage, just in, say, just in case you missed fuel somewhere. You shouldn't. And then it's the border. You shouldn't have too many issues leaving uh, Namibia at this border post. Very, very e easy uh, procedure. First up, immigration, stamp your passport out. That's what we're going to do first. And then you register your vehicle at the exit. And that's about it. Now all we need to do is at the exit register our vehicle. It's literally just filling in a form. Remember if you are a non-Namibian citizen you have to uh, fill in a arrival departure form when arriving and departing. <laughs> and we do that at the tent which is just around the corner. We should just stop here. We're now in no man's land and this is the second thing I like about this road is this little bridge that uh, runs over the river that separates Namibia and Botswana and they've got these little spots where you can stop which I'm obviously going to do now and you can look over the river and the majority of the times I cross over here there is an elephant because that, that over there is the Chobe National Park. Unfortunately, there's already people here, so I'll just go on to the Botswana border. What I forgot to mention is that when you're arriving on the Namibian side, the procedure will pretty much be the same. You'll do what they now call a health screening. They just take your temperature and take down your details. Then you'll do your passport. I'm um, obviously visa is separate if you need to do that. 
to pay your road um, what's it road registration road access fees I quickly check now it's for for my type of vehicle a 4x4 buck is 337 million dollars and then when you at the final stop again on the other side when you exit you have to uh, register your vehicle again and that's pretty much the procedure first thing you do on the Botswana side is you go through the foot and mouth control then you'll go for your health screening again they only check your temperature take details then you'll do your immigration stamp your passport and then you'll do your import permit and then usually just before you leave the Botswana border post uh, they'll customs will check your vehicle they'll check your paperwork check your gate pass check your receipt that you paid and then usually just check your fridge and then uh, maybe the back of your canopy nothing serious uh, what is it raw meat raw milk and then they've got this import list it's forever changing so I, I can't give you any more information lots of fruits and vegetables on there best is maybe a week before you leave do some research and find out and just as we leave the border post we get to the third favorite thing or that I like on this road and that's the turn off to Kachikau for those of you who don't know that's the route that you take between Kasane and Maun when you go through Savuti you go through Kwai you go through Moremi that's the more adventurous route I actually do have a video about it and then just after this is the fourth thing that I like the fourth thing that I like about this road is that you get to drive through the Chobi National Park you don't have to pay anything all you need to do is you have to stop and register in at this gate or the other gate if you're coming in and then once you get to the other gate you just have to register out again like I said zero payments required and then you're in the Chobe National Park you're transiting as I said you don't have to pay anything speed limit 80 kilometers per hour watch out they do sometimes have uh, officials with uh, speed uh, guns um, the gate, the border at the other side opens at 8 in the morning and closes at 6 at night. I'm going to verify this. I'll put the time on the screen. So the latest you can come through is 6 through the border. Then you go into the park. It's from here 50 kilometers to the other gate. And on that side the gate closes at 7 p.m. Yes, you do spot a lot of animals on this road. I've been lucky to, to see lots of elephant as well as buffalo. And then on my most recent trip, a pride of about nine, ten elephants right on the road. And this is the other side. I've just uh, filled out the register, but unfortunately, it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> not sure if you can, not sure if you can see the wet on my shirt. So as you come out the gate on the left is the park, the main park entrance gate. This is where you stop and pay your park fees. We paid about. 800 the other day for two people for a day in the park it's quite expensive and if you carry on with this road you'll end up in uh, Kazangula that's the fifth thing that I like about this road is it takes you to that spot where if you turn right you're going to Botswana if you turn left you can either go to Zambia via the Kazangula bridge or to Zimbabwe that goes to Victoria Falls so that spot if you cross the river where all four countries come together from here on the right will be the airport direct flights to Johannesburg and if you turn left you'll go into Kasane which we will do I think that pretty much ends the video I'm not sure what type of footage I'll be able to get to this rain that's it thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was informative if it was please like and subscribe remember I'm trying to get to a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of 2023 join my patreon I'm trying to get to 200 by the end of 2023